This video was brought to you by the TLDR store. And if you want the entire TLDR team to hand deliver your order anywhere in the world, then watch until the end of the video to find out how. On Thursday, Turkey's official statistics authority, the Turkish Statistical Institute, announced that Turkey's year-on-year -year inflation rate had hit a 25-year high of 85% in October. And if that doesn't sound bad enough, unofficial estimates put the true inflation figure even higher. But despite all of this, Erdogan has made it clear that he plans to continue cutting rates, which have already fallen 8.5% in the last 18 months. So in this video, we're going to be taking another look at Turkey's economic woes, why most analysts expect things to get worse, and how all of this interacts with Turkey's upcoming election, due in June of next year. So, the first thing to say here is that we've done a whole load of videos on Erdogan's unorthodox economic policies in the past. So if you want to know more about the situation generally, then you can go and watch those. The main thing you need to know, though, is that in part because Turkey's economy relies quite heavily on imports, Turkey's inflation rate has surged over the last year or so. Now, usually, central banks hike rates in order to reduce inflation. But Erdogan thinks that this idea is a conspiracy advanced by the so-called interest rate lobby. And instead, he prefers to cut rates, which is exactly what he's done. And to make this unorthodox economic policy happen, Erdogan has basically fired any central banker who's tried to raise rates. And as such, the central bank has cut rates from 19% in March of 2021 to 10.5% today. Now, as orthodox economists predicted, this hasn't stemmed inflation. And year-on-year -year inflation has jumped from 20% to 85.5% in the last 12 months. And this is the highest inflation rate that Turkey's seen since Erdogan came into power 20 years ago. When, by the way, he came to power promising to bring down inflation from the crazy highs of the 90s. It's also worth saying that if the official numbers weren't bad enough, Unofficial estimates suggest that things are even worse than the Turkish Statistical Institute is admitting. A separate index that measures inflation in Istanbul, compiled by the city's Chamber of Commerce, put the real figure at 107%, while another unofficial index, developed by the Independent Inflation Research Group, made up of academics and former government officials, puts it even higher at 185%. Nonetheless, Erdogan is apparently undeterred and has made it clear that he plans to continue with his rate cutting. Just last month, he said that he wanted to bring down rates to single digits by the end of the year. And at a recent rally, he said that he continued to cut rates for as long as he was in power. Now, given that Turkey's inflation rate is currently at nearly 100% and looks unlikely to come down anytime soon, you might expect their economy to be in chaos. However, contrary to expectations, Turkey's economy is actually holding up rather well, at least according to official statistics. In 2021, Turkey's GDP grew by a handsome 11%, and this year it looks like it's come in at above 7%. Now, this growth has been driven by a combination of consumption and exports. For instance, in Q2, consumption was up 22.5%, while exports increased by 16.5%. And in a way, this does make sense. If inflation is really high, but interest rates are low, then there's no reason for individuals to hold on to cash. They just want to spend it as fast as they can, which significantly drives up consumption. Similarly, inflation has weakened the lira, which has made Turkey's exports much more competitive. For context, one dollar now buys nearly 19 lira, up from about 10 lira last year, and 5 lira in 2019. And as such, the lira's depreciation has made Turkish goods cheaper to international buyers, which has improved their export market. Nonetheless, while growth is strong, it's not all good. For the most part, Turkish wages haven't kept pace with inflation, which is bad news for Turkey's working class, with pensioners and retirees also badly affected. In fact, the main beneficiaries have been Turkey's banks, who have seen their profits quintuple in the past year. On top of that, most analysts expect Turkey's growth to slow significantly over the next couple of months. 
JP Morgan forecasts a 2% contraction for Q3 and zero growth for Q4. Now, this is basically because as inflation erodes wages and people are quickly spending all of their savings, consumption is set to quickly dry up as people suddenly realize they've run out of money. So obviously, a recession would be bad news for ordinary Turks, but it would also be pretty scary for Turkey's public finances. While Turkey's debt-to-GDP ratio is pretty low at about 35%, about half of those debts are denominated in foreign currency, and about $180 billion worth of bonds are coming due in the next 12 months alone. And given that the lira is worth very little at the moment, if a recession hits, they might struggle to pay off these debts. And that's broadly why credit agencies, which basically measure how likely a country is to default on its debts, have been downgrading Turkey's ranking. Today, Turkey's credit rating is a B, which for context is the same as Mongolia and only one above Ukraine. Now, this doesn't mean that a default is likely yet, but it's certainly a possibility. A recession would also be bad news for Erdogan, who's up for re-election in June of 2023. While polling suggests that his AKP party are still on track to be the largest party, albeit only by a small margin, they'll likely lose their parliamentary majority. And their coalition partner, the Nationalist Movement Party, are polling on less than 10% and could fairly easily fall below the 7% electoral threshold. Similarly, polling for the presidential election suggests that the most popular opposition candidates are now neck and neck with Erdogan. And a couple of recent polls have actually given Kemal Kalicidogo a tentative lead over Erdogan. Kalicidogo is the leader of Turkey's main opposition party, the Republican People's Party who lead an opposition alliance comprising of six parties with a shared platform focused on abolishing the presidential system of government in Turkey that granted executive powers to Erdogan in 2018. The polls for 2023 are already neck and neck, so if Erdogan oversees a recession in the next couple of months, we can expect the opposition to pull ahead. Nonetheless, while this might sound like good news for anyone who's had enough of Erdogan, he's unlikely to go down without a fight. And that's because Erdogan will probably try and turn the public's attention away from Turkey's failing economy and towards foreign policy, a topic which Erdogan feels a lot more comfortable on. And worryingly, he could do this by stirring up conflicts with the Kurds in the east or Greece in the west. And at the end of the day, there's no guarantee that he'd even agree to a peaceful transfer of power. All in all then, the stage looks set for a dramatic contest in 2023, especially if Turkey's economic chaos continues. And if all of that is a bit much for you, then how about something a bit more fun? Do you want to meet Team TLDR? Well, we're fast approaching our 10,000th order on the TLDR store. So to celebrate, we're going to hand deliver the 10,000th order anywhere in the world. In fact, we're going to record a whole video of our team racing to deliver your order and be the first to arrive at your doorstep. Sounds fun, right? Well, I have some good news if you're considering placing an order to try and win, because we also have a huge sale on right now. All of our iconic pin badges are now half price, only $2.99. Or if you're feeling doubly lucky, you could get yourself a random pin for $1.79, five random pins for $5.99, or even 10 random pins for $9.99. And it's not just badges. Everything else in our store is also reduced, including our magnets and stickers. And just so you know, we have no plans on restocking any of these items. So once it's gone, it's likely gone forever. So if you've always wanted a little piece of TLDR, if you're looking for an early Christmas gift, or you just want to go for a drink with Team TLDR, then now is your chance to order. The link to the store is in the description, and thanks for supporting the channel.